So once again, I've logged on to record a video and this has happened. Obviously, uh, it's not a great sign. Now, it looks like the last two videos I've actually posted back to back are actually being raided videos. So today's video is obviously going to be filled with us creating what is going to be hopefully a brand new base uh, with a lot more kind of like secret stuff going on at the exact same time. But from the looks of this, I'm going to just throw this out here a little bit and, and you guys can obviously leave your opinions in the comments is, is it looks like we actually did get x-ray because obviously some people are legit on the server some people hide it that's how that's how hackers you know live their lives it looks like if i head up top obviously it doesn't matter if i show any of this off now because obviously we, we've been we've been raided it doesn't really matter but if i head all the way up to the top it does look a little bit weird so we originally horse is that somebody's horse hey no it's yeah it this is somebody's horse okay but it does look a little bit weird uh basically we were like 10 blocks not 10 blocks like five blocks into the mountain here right down here but this isn't like the weird thing obviously people get raided all the time it's natural it's how the server works it's a great thing about the server but what seems to be a little bit weird is the amount of secret chests this man slash woman actually did find so we had two secret chests in here which were i think emil said like five blocks deep we had all of these back here which were also just dug straight to we had one it back at this water all the way down in the back here one up there which was also found and we also had twins in this corner but there was actually a sign this is for emil it's just a sword and and some seeds and stuff this sign says D and it says also just want to say you guys are awesome. I mean, if you're cheating, you're definitely not awesome. But welcome to another episode of Hide or Hunt, everybody. Make sure you guys do slap a like if you guys aren't new and subscribe and share this video with one friend. Comment done when you've done it. I'll be hearting the replies for the first hour. But over here as well is a sign that actually says hashtag x-ray. So I'm not sure if he's trying to joke around. I'm not sure if this guy's being serious. But Emil, I think right now is actually packing up all of our stuff. We're going to get moving, obviously, which means actually we're going to need to basically take everything that we have. I think this guy literally no mercy did and took everything. But this guy has to be living close to us, I think, because if he wasn't living close, it would be very, very difficult by himself to move all this stuff back and forth. But I guess I'll cut back with you guys. Hopefully when we've moved or something interesting has at least happened. I'm getting very sad starting videos just by us being raided. But you know, it, it is what it is. You have to live and learn. But I guess me and Emil are going to pack up. And then um, hopefully next time you see me, we'll be at our brand new base. And transition. All right. I'm almost at the outpost, Emil. I'm on my way. I'm getting there. Ever so I had to leave my horse, by the way. Because if there's someone there, our horses are dead. There is someone here. Okay. Then our horses are dead. It, it's that easy, right? But basically we decided that we needed to head to the outpost first because basically what we need is is we needed a load of jungle wood now for cocoa beans uh, we also ha also have 500k on us which basically we're just gonna just throw all the money into loot caches so if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't okay i can buy if i bought four do you want to open two i'll open two i'm a bit worried yeah. about the guy Wait, behind us though how are we gonna do that uh, see what i need to go do first though is i need to go do level 30 enchants on my armor because i have 45 levels which means hopefully i should have enough to get level 30 on each armor piece because right now i literally was just rocking protection one on everything Thing. So at least if we get into a fight now, I am very well prepared. I think it's this one. Very well prepared. All right. First one is I'm breaking three. Um, okay, I got protection three. You know, that's not bad. Not bad, yeah. I got... Uh, oh, that sucks. What did you get? I got I'm breaking three projectile protection four. That's the most useless thing you can get. I, are you kidding me? On my legs, I got fire protection four and breaking three. On my that's boots, protection three and breaking three. Okay, you know what? It actually could have been a lot worse. I need to get a pickaxe as well. I do actually have a pickaxe. Okay, efficiency four. I got silk touch. Are you kidding me? That's actually okay. That's not bad, right? No. That's not we bad. Is there Wait, are there anvils in here? Yeah, there are. Okay, because I have fortune three pick. So I'm going to do that onto a fortune three. There we go. Everything is now fine. So this guy, I don't know what his motive is, right? We, we were just here, you know, we just needed to enchant some stuff. Hi, buddy. Okay, you ready? What's he doing? Do we like try do fake just, him out? Do you just want to jump Grr. out the window? Yeah, we'll just jump out the window. <laughs> He's followed you. He's followed you. I'm still on top of a tree. He can't get me. I'm like, a, I'm like a tree ninja and they'll look at this. Uh oh, he's seen me. Okay, I don't know if this guy's gonna follow us. I might just open up the loot caches because I'm actually scared that this guy's just gonna kill us like the moment we step out of the thing. No, 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 he's not that strong. He has an enchanted wooden shovel. I okay, I, can take him on. I am going to sell everything in my inventory just to make a little bit of room. I have two stacks of bread that I managed to make just from the hay bales that I had. It sucks that we got raided as well because my farming yeah. skill was actually starting to get quite high and now I have to work through everything again. So, okay, what else do we have? I have, what else can I sell? Is it worth selling just the wheat, do you think? Yeah. Okay, I'll sell I'll sell the redstone, the, the wheat. I'll keep the cocoa beans, right, in case we need those. Uh, yeah. I'll get rid of the crafting table. I can't sell a crafting table. That's lovely. Uh, I 
I think that's literally the only thing I have worth selling. I also have a banknote for four thousand dollars. Who did you kill? I didn't. It was in my inventory. I don't even know where it came from. All right, let's go turn this in. That's another you Who know free from? eight thousand. It's from um. Oh, Tim killed him. New sad. N o u s a d. Boom. There we go. Banknote done. Okay, so the first loot cash we got. Grind his backpack again. Uh, and sixty four bottles of enchanting. No, I still have one. So I, I guess it's good to have a spare. Right? Okay, second loot cache. Okay, not bad. I got a row of pots, and I also got a backpack enhancement for a miner's backpack. But the thing is, Emil, I now have a full inventory, so I think I'm gonna throw out just these seeds and everything. This guy's just running. Do you reckon he's actually gonna run out? He ran out! Where did he go? I'm gonna take him on in 1v1. He run out. Naked. I just need to throw this stuff out. I just want to make a new base. That's all I want. Listen. Yeah, he went for it. He went for it. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna try and kill me. Let's just scare him a little bit. Yeah, he's going for it. <laughs> Wait, what sword do you have? You have sharpness five? Okay, yeah, you can just kill this guy. What if we both run out? Do you reckon he'll go for us both? We, remember, we both have parts. Okay, yeah, look, I ran out with you. Let's see what yeah, he let's does. Just, well, let's just find a new base. I mean, so I want to open like... these other two loot caches. I mean, what if we get something I need to sell? Yeah. We don't, he don't said 1v1. Yeah, 1v1 a mil. Yeah, no. 1v1 a mil. Go on. <laughs> you got to save me, right? Yeah, of course <laughs> I'm going to save you. All right, I'll chuck out the dirt. I'll get rid of the seeds. We can just grab more of those. Uh, what else do I need to get rid of? Um, oh, God, I'm panicking. Mill, take take bottles of enchanting quickly and other diamond armor quickly. I don't have room for this. What do you mean you don't have room? All right, I'm opening the last two loot caches because, you know, we have things to do. So, another loot cache. Okay, mushroom spawner, which is kind of all right. And 64 bottles of enchanting. And our very last one, another row of pots and another mushroom spawner. So, this okay, guy's he's running away. He's What's running he doing? over to my horse. He's take got run over to my horse. Okay, we need to think which way we want to go because obviously we can't show this on camera which way we want to go. So, I think we take a cut here. We'll come back hopefully when we're at either like our new base or that's my horse. No, that's mine. That's your horse. Mine's back here. <laughs> okay, come with me. Come with me quick. Let's go get my horse and then we'll figure out where we're going. At least then we can run away from this guy if all, everything goes downhill. So welcome back to what is actually our brand new base. Now, this is actually recorded the next day from that clip that kind of happened a little bit earlier. So this is our brand new base location. And it actually looks, I think, a lot better than the last one. We've got a massive wheat farm here, which is what I'm going to be showing off in about probably a minute or so time. You know, Raven time is different to other people time, but, you know, we'll figure it out. So the base is pretty empty so far. Right now, all we really have is like a furnace room and stuff, and we're actually very far away from our last base, which hopefully means we actually shouldn't get x-rayed or raided anytime soon. Now, I've been AFKing this just for a little while because I actually wanted to show off this harvester hoe right here. This harvester hoe is basically godly. That's exactly what it is. Basically, usually when you are like farming a wheat farm, what you have to do is you obviously have to break it, get the wheat and the seeds, replant, break, replant, break, replant, like continuously, continuously. If I do slash skills and we go to farming, we go to level 10, you unlock the harvester, which basically means if I left click, it will automatically replant the seeds, which actually makes grinding a lot quicker, mainly because uh, I can literally just fly across this and not have to replant anything. Like I can legit just hold down left mouse button and just go absolutely nuts and it all replants, which really makes me wish I had this the other day when we were doing that massive, massive farm raid. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. We have it now. That's all that matters. And just like that, in those few seconds, we have farmed and replanted like the whole of this farm. Now, obviously our farm isn't a lot yet, but hopefully it will be in the long run. And hopefully this base actually does last a little bit longer anyway. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this all into hay bales, I think. It'll probably be... Okay, I panicked so much thinking it was somebody else online, but it turns out it's just Emil. I literally almost just cried thinking we got raided. Hi, Emil. So basically these are actually very, very easy to make. And it's also like a really overpowered thing because you can do it with axes as well. Also probably should make a ladder up to the next floor. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like swimming, but... This layer is a prime example of how easy this thing is because literally that's it. We've done one row. We've done two. We can literally just hold left mouse and just spam this and we get so much farming XP. Like look at the bottom. Look at my XP literally just fly upwards. It's that easy. And the good thing is as well, it's actually, it's it's quite expensive. I think it's not like it's going to like break your bank balance or anything, but I definitely think it will put a dent in most like smaller players bank balances anyway, mainly just because of the items that are needed. So we're going to hop over to discord now just so we can actually check how to make this thing. Right, so we're over here in the Hodel Hunt Discord, and we're actually in the channel uh, recipe information at the top here. Basically, what you have to do for this is you need one diamond hoe, one diamond block, 
a gold block, two hay bales, two carrots, and two poisonous potatoes. And that's how you make it in the crafting menu right here. So it's actually a very, very easy thing to make. And also the farming XP that you do get from it is like exactly the same. It's not like you lose out on anything. Like just like that, we're almost at level 18 on farming, which I think is crazy personally. But I need to keep grinding because obviously we want to unlock cocoa beans, which give us a lot more money, a lot more farming XP too. So right here, we literally have the exact same thing. Another full level, which we can happily just farm through with our harvester hoe. Grab all the XP and all of the wheat as well. Okay, and our inventory is actually full, which means we actually need to head back down to a load of other stuff. I know it's a very long process on hide or hunt, but we love it anyway. So let's put all of our wheat into here. There we go. We can make this hopefully all into hay bales. As you do actually need hay bales to make this item. So 49 hay bales, not too bad. We can actually make, I think, 14 more. Oh no, we actually can make a lot more. There we go. So stack in six just off of that. It's actually pretty crazy how easy it actually is to make these things. So what I'm going to do is put the items back in the chest just so if anybody else wants to make one, they can. But looking at our slash skills, we actually are like a fair bit behind everyone else. Like our farming or our grinding is at seven and so is our mining, which means we're going to have to hopefully catch up a little bit. It's just whenever we get raided, obviously we do lose the spawners, which sucks for us. But I think it's going to have to get to a point where we're going to have to start maybe just placing down the spawners anyway. I do actually need to head back to the outpost because of this mushroom cow right here, because basically we just need mycelium for it. That's like the easiest way to sell this unless we actually have some anywhere oh god that's a lot of wheat as well i might as well just make this all into hay bales don't mind me i'm just not stealing money from everybody there we go and then we'll put wheat in this top chest and obviously we've we've kind of messed it up a little bit but two stacks of hay bales really not that bad and also our xp is obviously flying right up by using these items i think each one of these actually does have one like if i go to slash skills i go to mining mining we can unlock nether quartz uh rare treasure drops which means we get a fossilized loot cache emeralds fire damage and an ore refinery because every skill at the very end has like an automated thing like here we have compactors get bonus crops here we get cocoa beans so i actually need to get to level 30 level 20 like those two levels which means it would take me about four days of max grinding because if you guys don't know uh basically there is a cap each day basically means you can only mine or get at fifty thousand xp per day so right here i've already got ten thousand of my farming for the day for our mining i, I really haven't done much with mining i really need to do like absolutely like a lot more but i haven't even thought about it so i guess this is what's going to happen soon enough right we're actually going to be grinding hopefully a lot the next few days i might be doing a stream the next few days hopefully a lot more stuff in uh, like interesting stuff could be happening soon in hide or hunt like i want to start doing maybe some more raids some other stuff like that i haven't actually like even looked for that many raids i've been solely focused on trying to get like all my skills up as high as i can which is what i'm going to go do right now hopefully by the end of this week I may or may not be able to eventually get bonus crops and everything like that. It's going to be a lot of work. I hope I'm actually able to do it. I'm just going to put the time in and hope the rewards come from it. Is this even fully done? Is this done? Can I use this? I can. Look at this. It's beautiful. 